Thank you so much for sticking with Y254 TV. This is your number one youth station. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website. That's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. My name is Ram Aguko. And of course, it's a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. This is Power Talk. The, the best place to be. And remember, I repeat of this show airs again every Thursday at 10 p.m. Today, let's hear about someone's story. This is a story of uh, one lady, beautiful lady, uh, if I may say. And she goes by the name Consolata Waiderero, also known as a Consar. She is an actress and a marketer. We are here to get to know her story and of course even as we talk about this what is your story and we shall hear what she went through because on part of we're here to empower you to keep you motivated and inspired as we listen to her story what is your story where are you watching us from the hashtag as always is a power talk show at ramaguko and at y254 channel this is a lady a uh, lady who will tell us how she lost her limb. Persons living with disabilities, how has it been, especially, you know, trying to cope up with the day-to-day -day challenges of the consulate Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine, thank you. And you? I'm also good. I'm awesome. I'm feeling oh, amazing. Thanks so much for coming. Oh, I'm humbled. You're humbled. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, for somebody who's meeting you for the first time, yeah. Um, tell us something about yourself. Something a bit more about what you do. Okay, I go by the name Consolata by mm -hmm. but Pale online they call me Consa, mm -hmm. and I'm a sister to two sisters because I'm the firstborn. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So firstborn. To cook out self group yet. I was a first one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah that's uh -huh. nice. And I'm also a sister to many people out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm an actress mm -hmm. and also a marketer. A marketer. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And I know even as you interact with people, you've uh, managed to, you know, um, walk in town. And they always find those people who just look at you and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's with a different eye. Um, I'm looking at the perception that, uh, that, that you get as an individual. Yeah. Let me start from there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they stay a lot. And I love it. I don't you hide. It. I don't hide. So I love it. So you, you can stay. When you finish, you go home. <laughs> <laughs> People do stay. They stay a lot. Yeah. And I love it, by the way. But mm. I don't blame them. Because mm -hmm. before the mm. accident, even me, I could mm. have stayed. Because I don't know. Mm -hmm. But right now, I know. So I don't blame them. And, and I'm no. here to create disability awareness. So I won't hide. You won't hide it. Yeah. And, 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 and even as, uh, as, as, as you walk in town and people stare at you, um, uh, right now the feeling is different. So you know, Very what, different. What, what too. Yeah, what you want to But before it, uh, how was it before? At first I was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I was like, Mbona uleana niangalia? Why are they staring at me? Ah, but I, I came like. to understand mm -hmm. we need to create more disability awareness because mm -hmm. people don't know what is this. You're the one who is telling them what is this. Mm. So I told myself I won't hide anymore. Does anyone ever ask yeah, what is they your ask. story? Yeah, they ask. They do. Yeah, but I don't mind explaining. Mm. You ask, I don't mind. I just tell them and explain and then leave. Wow. Yeah. Do you sometimes feel misunderstood? Me, I won't blame you. I won't let you destroy me. Mm. I already know myself mm -hmm. and I already know my journey. So your thought or whatever you want to tell me, it mm. won't destroy me. I'll just understand wow. you the way you are, and then I'll leave you. Then you go your way. Yeah. Consulta, let, let's hear your story. Uh -huh. How did it, did it all start? How did we get to the place where we are today? Uh, so you know the struggles of a firstborn. You're a firstborn. Mm. From the background I come, last money you push. You know, you are the deputy parent. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I must push myself whether I like it or not. Yeah. So it was just a normal day. I've opened up a business. It's like two months. 
You started now, your own business? Yeah. Okay. Now, like, so you know, a business, old stock, they must finish, so you must go and get new stocks. Mm -hmm. So that day was my day to go and get the stocks. So, mm -hmm. now it's my time. Nataka kurudi sasa home with the stocks. Mm -hmm. So I decided to call a safe border so that I can take my things home. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, ni amkeni and then So this is the, in, in the evening? Yeah, it's an evening. It's 5 to 6 there. Five, five around 5 6 p.m. Yeah, there. p.m. p.m. Right. there. Now, ni meita safe boda, kila kitu iko. Now mm. we are on our way back to home. Now, unfortunately, a pro box came at the wrong side. It hit us. And the driver died there. And then the, I was left. Which driver? The, the, the pro boda box? boda driver. The boda the boda. pro box came from the wrong side. Ikikuja tuka imetugonga. Which side? From your left or your right? It was from my right side, yeah. From your right side? Bypass, northern bypass. Kuna kuanga na barabara, gari tu zina kujanga. Yani, it's just a one road. Mm -hmm. So, this side gari zina kuja bado, this side gari zina kuja. As in, like, kuna zanya zina teremka na kuna zanya zina kuja on the, mm -hmm. on the upside. Mm -hmm. So, si tuliko tuna teremka. Umla teremka? Yeah. And your border border guy, was and he on the right side of the road? Very right. Okay. Yeah, so now the pro box came on the wrong side. Mambo mm ika tendeka hapo within a span of an eye. The next minute, mini kijiangalia, my whole right leg was outside. My bone ime pasuka na iona, ime niangalia hivi. Yani everything was outside in short. Now people were trying to fix with, nini mtu anakuja na tawela, anakuja na kitamba, nasema, close meanwhile, kabla tutafute mtu kupeleke hospitali, since ime happenia kwa barabara. So now we are trying to see if someone can understand a kupeleke hospital. Now ni kusimamisha gari. Kuna mm. mtu wanataka kusimama, habataki kusimama. Wanasema, oh, ni kusimama, ntambiwa, oh, I'm the one who caused the accident, nini. But, same in good luck, someone mm. akasimama. What about the Probox guy? Alienda, it was a hit and run case. Hit and run? Yeah. Nobody got the number plate? No. There is no CCTV. Many people are coming to see what happened. And sasa kusongesha vitu kwa barabara because it's life, it's much go on. Mm -hmm. So ni kutoa vitu, barabara yendele, na kama mtu ni nini, aende hospitali. So that person, akasmama, nikaingia kwa gari, nikapele kwa direct kwa hospitali emergency along upon Northern Bypass, KU referral. So uyo mtu wakapigia my mom. Mm. Ndiyo saa my mom akakam. Nikaambiwa, this is a very serious case. Nafa ni amkia subui kama ni meenda theater. Mm. Yani that hospital has a lot of complications. Singeweza kuka hapo. Mm. So ni meka hapo like let's say two days. Nika transfer. Nika enda another hospital. Kuenda another hospital. Nika enda direct kama ni meenda theater. Kuenda theater. Wakaangalia mgu yangu vizuri. Adi wakaika adi chumo. Waka nipea hope. So kanebea consolata you will be fine. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. So, so they did not amputate it at this, at this level? Sija amputate yo bado. Bado kuna mgu yangu. Bado ni kuna mgu yangu. Now let me take a few, take your few steps back. Yeah. You're on the road. Yeah. And you're lying there. Yeah. At what point did you just realize that I'm actually hurt because high adrenaline is always there's that rush. Yeah. Yeah. At what point did you realize that I'm actually hurt and something has happened and my border border guy is actually not here? At first, when the accident happened, I was like, no, I want to go home. So first of all, niliamka. Kuamka mm. I can't stand. My whole leg is outside. I can see it. Even I'm touching it, I'm like, what? What's happening? Yeah, and I'm like, kwa nini watu hawakuji saidi yangu? A lot of people are not coming on my side. Walikuwa kwa driver, wana try kuwondo wa mwili kwa barabara, nini, bike. Sindi yo afterwards na kuja kurealize what is happening. So, sasa si ni kuendelea tuna situation, I'm like, I'm there, but I'm not talking, by the way. I'm traumatized. I was not talking, by the way. You've not even realized what, what, what's happening? What's happening? I'm just quiet there. Running, why can't someone just help me here? Yeah. And afterwards, you came to understand what was happening. Sindia sasa tuka try kusmamisha gari. Because right now, I'm looking after my health. Data kama ni kukua concerned, surely. 
si mguu yangu yote iko nje and mm. the more I'm wasting time the more I'm bleeding mm. so i had to smamisha any car inipeleke hospitali did you have first aid uh, first aiders coming uh, to the rescue at that time uh, wa wa api watu wanakuiba mimi nilibiwa kila kitu <laughs> si nikomea nimetoka kununua stock ndio narudi by the way i didn't go with my stock mimi nilienda tu venye niko hata simu ilienda everything went there by the way be, be, kabla first aid wakuje niwezi sorry to say kenyans we need to really change this i think we need to change this narrative yeah. We really need to. So they come, take advantage of the accident, yeah. steal from you, yeah. and maybe steal from the border border driver, driver yeah. and just go their way. Yeah. Do you think that? I think that will change. But they can't hmm. change. It happens. It? So many times it does. Yeah, it when does. When I go to see you, you know, Imagine they are pretending like hey hey are you okay are you okay but why na kusokora tu Now when you got this um let's say good samaritan mm-hmm. the driver yeah alisimama kivyake yeah he was Ama, alone did someone stop him he was alone and i was noja tuko kando ya barabara along the path mm mm-hmm. he just came direct akauliza what's the problem we are trying to look for a car uh-huh. to peleke hospital. He stopped the car. Yeah. Came and asked what's happening. Yeah. Took you in. Yeah. Kasema, I will just drop you. You call whoever you're calling and then I'll leave. I was like, that's good. That's okay. Cuz at least I'll reach at the hospital. Mm-hmm. It was just calling my parents now to come. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did that. Wherever you are, may God bless you. I don't know if he, if he can even remember. He can remember, where? He can remember. Always how it come you. Seriously. You don't forget that easily. When once you got to to this hospital mm-hmm. because you said mm-hmm. that there was some confusion and you're not comfortable being here. Yeah. What is this confusion that uh, you saw in this place that you felt not comfortable being there? There are people who talk with cash. If you don't want if you don't have cash, they won't attend to you and they don't want to use the NHIF card. So mm. you see and it's an emergency, you can't stay there. You have to transfer. You didn't have an NHIF. I di- I did have. You they did don't have. use NHIF card. They want oh, cash they instantly. Don't use... Okay. Yeah. So you had to leave. I had to leave because I have an H- NHIF, NHIF card. NHIF. Yeah. And they wanted cash. Yeah. How long did it take now transferring from this hospital to the Four next? Four days. Four days. Consolat. Bado to Janza story. It's just the beginning. Of it. <laughs> so you're in a hospital. Yeah. They want cash. You deal with the NHIF. So you have to leave this hospital. Remember, you're still bleeding. I believe so. Yeah. The bleeding hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped, and you can see your bone like. In a <laughs> wow. Yeah. And it takes you four days to leave this hospital and go to the next. Yeah, because they are not providing you an ambulance. You have to provide yourself an ambulance. Would you even connect the whole situation so that you can get out of there? In this in this four four day period, where are you? I'm just there, sleeping like nonsense and eating. Unakatu. Did they, what did they do to, to your leg? The, you're the first time when I went to that hospital, the first thing when you get to the hospital after the accident, they are mm. checking where you are. It's mm. pokuwa mgu. So, wali nipeleka kwa various machines. Kwa angalif, my head is okay, my hands are okay, the rest of my body, wakapata. The only part in yalikuwa ni meumia, it's the leg only. So, wakafanya some, tuseme ni kufanya tu, nini, tuseme kutuwa uchafu, nini. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then wakai bandage. Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa tu nimekaa hivyo na wananipia painkillers. So anakuwa painkillers, painkillers bandaged so it. Wame, wame yeah. So so na the food. Wakiingojea mimi ni depart. Na ulikaa for four days. Yeah, alafu nikatoka nikaenda another hospital. Do you feel like it got worse within these four days? It did because before ni kuja kuelewa, let me give you the story. Mhm. So after nimeenda that hospital the next hospital now mm, mm. nilienda the first time kama nimeingia theater 
So, kuingia theater na washato wa hiyo uchafu, whatever is going on for those four days, because nilifanyo to dressing the first time wakati ni mingia hospitali, mm. four days sija guzwa. For me, I'm feeling like it's an emergency, because sija pata utsingizi, bado. Nasikia tu uchungu. Sija lala, by the way, four nasikia days. uchungu. Mm, nasikia uchungu bado. Yani, wow. the leg is so painful, let me tell you something. The leg is so painful. So, I'm not sleeping. Nimeenda yo hosi, nona? Nimetoka theater, wamenieka chuma, wameniambia, you'll be fine. Mimi nimerudi kwa ward. Now it's like the five day. Sasa kwa hiyo next hospital. Nasikia, I'm not okay. Bado uchungu. I'm not even sleeping. Alafu tena, mugu yangu, wejua kwa ward, muko wengi. Muko mm. like eight of you, ama twelve. So, unapata watu hawakai na mani. My legs smelling so bad. Very bad. Kabisa. There's some smell coming out. Yeah. Yani we can, alafu tena ina bleed too. Yani kama imekelewa kwa bedu napata like, kama ni hapa inatoa uzaa badu, inatoa some things as yeliweki. Tukaita daktari because a public hospital, let me tell you something before they cater for you. Wah, utangojea? Utangojea sana. So, kuna time, madaktari wa ukuja kuangalia. The big, big doctors. Unapata kwa wiki, maybe watakuja, maybe on a Tuesday mm. or on a Wednesday. Or on a Thursday. Na ilikuwa siku gani on this day? Yo time waki, waki kuja, ku, ilikuwa ona, nimeka like five days now, mm -hmm. hawaja kuja badu, but nimetoka theater. Of which ukitoka theater unambu wangwa, you'll be fine. The doctor is always right. You'll be fine, consolata. Have hope. Hmm? Did, so, you, did you believe them? Did you feel like, sasa, the, they giving you hope? Sasa, nitakosa aje kuwamini na umetoka theater, umeambu you'll be fine. So you're telling yourself deep down you'll be fine, but mm, no, listen. it's my leg, I'm feeling it, I'm not okay. When you know when I talk at theater, you can see them, you can see them sleeping, they're comfortable, lakuna kitu na kusumbua, but me, I'm not sleeping. I'm just crying day in, day out. Niki waita wanipea dawa, wananipea panado, panado, shuali. Anyway, sasa after five days zimeka, mm. I'm like, no, it's not okay. Sindyo sasa wakasema, kuna madaktari wa ukuja, we will just wait for them, wakuje, uambie whatever you are feeling. Sema daktari wakakama wakasema, come nurse, open the leg, let me see the leg. Wah, wanayangali hivi. And you can see their reaction. Oh, of course. Unawana sura yawa kifanya. Yeah. Alafu body language ya yezi danganya. Daktari ya kiangali hivi, unajiambi aji wewe. Wakasema, you'll have to go back theater tena. Wende waku oshe, because the more bado unaka hivo, kuna kuanga na tunyama tunawzelelea ju, the waste tissues. So mm. you must go back now. They wash you again. And then they, they tell you what, whatsoever they are going to tell you. So nikaandikiwa direct. That evening nikaenda theater. Wakaenda wakaosha na wakafunga. Kufunga mi nikarudisho tena kwa ward. Ay, kukaka mi nikasema. I have a friend ameshi kuniambia. If ever you are in danger, go to Kenyatta Hospital. Nikasema, let me call her. Nikampigia. She's a nurse. Saka niambia. Umeka hospital you call for how long kamambia? Kamambia, please, you do, just do whatever you're going to do. Send me an ambulance. Ama nionge na daktari wa huku, wani peripheral, ni kam. Haka mm. that will be better. So me, I called one of the doctors because nilikuwa nisha juana na watu huko. Because I guess sasa nimeka one week hapo. Sasa, ini surgery angapi? Ya pili. Ya pili. Nimetoka, ya. Yeah. Were you in pain after the second one? Very much in pain. But sitaki kuonesha, I just want to get out of there. Niende KNH. Now this is second hospital? Yeah. You want to leave? Yeah. Sindio, wow. sasa nikatafta daktari, haka niandikia barua. Ya referral. Mm. Now they referred me to Kenyatta Hospital. Now uyo, the nurse, haka send the ambulance. Me and my mom, nikuharakisha, tukaenda sasa Kenyatta. Kufika hivi Kenyatta, before we ingia, you know, lazima upitia casualty wa kuangalie nini. When they opened my leg, the doctor ya kasema, this is a very emergency. This is a very serious case. You need to go to, you need to theater the next day in the mm. morning. Mm -hmm. So hizo nimetoka the previous hospital sane za usiku. Mm -hmm. Nimefika kenyata kitu satano za sita. Nangia kwa system sanane. So naambiwa na amkia theater five. Now, you mentioned uh, that kuna nurse ali, ali kufungua mgu. Yeah. When they opened, you could see wana, wana, geuka, wana, wana geuza kichwa yao, wana geuka, they, 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 you know, that sexual ex, ex, expression. Mm. Was this at this hospital or the previous one? The Before previous, the, no, the, the second hospital. The second hospital. Yeah. Now, 
after they opened what were they doing uh, 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 to, to open what was, what was their the reason for opening your wound i was telling them it's smelling i'm from the theater like four days mm. what's going on why is my leg smelling what are you not telling me mm. so they were like open the leg let us check and tell you what's what's going on mm -hmm. so now the first time they checked so that body language yeah mm -hmm. heavy, heavy, heavy. Mm -hmm. so they advised me to go theater after two hours maybe it's the tissues zimeoza no wonder in a nook or something so they're still speculating they don't yeah. know why they don't know why. In short, they are not telling me what's going on. Okay. So, wakati ni mingia ke NH sunona, ni me pata bed sana ni za usiku. Ni kwa system, na fa kwa mkia five kuenda theater. Five ikafika ni kaenda theater. After the first operation, which took three hours, wali niambia my bone from here to here is dead. Wow. And I have an infection. And it's growing day in, day out. Na nisipokatu wa mugu. I'll amputate the whole leg. I, I, I don't know if I have a shot of that. The bone from where to where, I, I, and 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 and, and uh, uh, you, you can you can show them again, from where to where. They said that that the bone limb. is dead. Mm. Um, uh, let's get that from where to where. My bone from here to here is from, dead. From from Say it again. From here uh -huh. to here uh -huh. is dead. Was dead. Yeah. Wow. And they said, if you don't and remove you that have part. an infection, mm -hmm. and they are not telling you, my leg was turning black, and I didn't know that no. part of the, that. It was from, turning from black, knee. but you know, I have a bandage, so I can't see. Me, the only signal it's giving me, I'm not sleeping. I'm having, I'm having a lot of pain. They're saying you must amp amputate that, or else the whole leg. The whole leg. When I went to the hospital, the infection had reached here. Mm -hmm. joint, Sasa. Mm -hmm. So the doctors were telling me, if we don't amputate as soon as possible, we will amputate the whole leg. Yeah. Because the infection was in a panda yani, like the killer sekunde, sekunde in a panda too. Yani it's not twisting. Mm -hmm. So Sinona Nimerudi Kwaod, Nimepewa News, Nico, like, are you 18 years old and above? I'm bare years. So you have to tell your parents, tell your people, whatever we have told you, because we need to amputate the leg. Or you can also decide for yourself. You say yes, a tick. We go again theater the next day so that we can amputate the leg. They ask you if you're 18 years and above. And above. Yeah. You are below 18 at this time. No. You, you know you they just have to nini counter check and confirm. They're mm. just asking. So you're mm. 18 years old and above, so you can make decisions for yourself. Oh. So you can just sign if you don't want to involve. So your you parents. signed. Yeah. You just sign. Because you want you're to over amputate 18. The, yeah. All right. Because now, hakuna solution. I'm like, hakuna plan B. Hakuna kitu tunaiza fanya na uko tunekama we can save the leg. Kasema, for real, we are just being honest. Mm. We can't save it. So, min kawambia, yeah, just give me that night. Come in the morning, I'll sign the papers. Wow. So, I went back to the theater, called my mom, kawambia whatever is going on. Kawambia, yeah, it's good. It, it okay to cause... Sijalala sasa. You can imagine it's the second week now. I'm not sleeping. I'm mm. not having a peaceful time. Me, I'll just choose to amputate the leg. Mm. So mama, mama can imbe, if you're okay with it, you just go ahead. So that night I called that doctor. Come on, mm. Come in the morning, I'll sign the papers. So, so you are having a discussion with mom? Yeah. Um, was it on phone? Yeah, on phone. On phone? Yeah. Could you, uh, and I'm sure you could feel her reaction. Wow. You could feel the emotion over the phone as you're talking with mom. Yeah, and she did come the next day in the morning before me going to the theater and before signing the papers, again to confirm if I want to amputate the leg. What did she want? What did she say? Okay, she was like, are you sure you want to do it? Are you mm -hmm. going to be okay? Yeah, as you know, to a mother, mm -hmm. she's, mm -hmm. she's always concerned. She's so concerned. Yeah, she's like, are you sure? Is that the right decision? I'm like, yeah, what are we talking about? I've never been at peace since the accident. Maybe when it amputated, I'm talking, I'll feel fine. Mm. Can you it's okay? Me, I'm with you if you want to choose that decision. And we did that. The doctor came the next morning. My mom was there. 
and I did sign. And you signed it? Yeah. And this was at, at what time? It was at 8 in the morning. 8 a.m.? Yeah. Take a pause. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hear more about her story, Consolata. I don't know if you're, you're getting some. There's so many things that are coming through my mind even as, 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 we, as, as we talk. Um, I'm looking at the status of our health care. I'm looking at, 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 at the, the character of Kenyans. I'm looking at the, the mindset of people who you know, come to crime scenes. Do they help? I'm thinking about so many so many things. I'm looking at the status of even our doctors. Um, even and, our and drivers. Drivers. Mm. Kenyan drivers. I want to take a short break. We'll be back. Meanwhile, tell us what you think about this story, even as you continue. Remember, this is her story right here on Power Talk. We're taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit. All right, not now? All right. Okay, okay. So, uh, I'm told we'll, we're taking the break later. Sorry for that. Um, I want us to proceed um, with that. Uh, when you're ready for the break, you'll tell me. Um, so, at this point in time, you are, uh, you're having a discussion with your mom, Amekubali. You've signed. Now that the doctors come. Yeah. Save you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you go for theater. Who are the people who are present uh, on this particular day? <sighs> you know, me, I deal with my shit like this. If something has happened to me, I don't tell everybody. Mm. So I didn't involve any friend. Mm. It was just family. So I was just with my mom there and my sister. So we are ready for it. We have already signed. An amputation is a serious thing, so you need like to have the best surgeons around. So you are alone. You are alone with your sister and your mother. Yeah. Did you have any? Because it's a, it's a serious thing. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at maybe a counselor or an, or an advisor, someone who can you know talk with you and talk to you and ask you how you're feeling. Did you have? Such kind of a person. They were calling such, but I was like, me, I'm okay with it. Me, I'm just fine with it. You just amputate, and then we'll deal with the life after. Let's, let us amputate it first, and then we will deal with the rest later. Because it's painful, my friend. Sijafunga macho. My macho ziko red. Alafu ni meenda theater almost three, two times. Mahali kwa kichinjio lazima damu imuagike. I can't mm. go yet, yet theater because I need to donate blood because sina damu kwa mwili kapsa. Ime mwagika. Usisa hau tena four days kule. Yeah. It was serious by the way. You needed a, a donor? Yeah. Now you passed another process again? It was another process because asubu after nime sign, they told me nafaku ingia theater 11. Mm -hmm. Before 11 ifike, you know they must come and uh, take some blood so that they can put you kwa line and what what mtu akuja kutafuta damu yani hakuna damu kabisa hakuna kabisa they are like you know when you're going to theater you need blood mm. call for five people to donate blood utatoa wapi alafu sasa hizo sisahau i don't have a phone nilikuwa natumianga phone ya neighbor if i'm communicating to my mom cuz mama alikuwa anajua kwenye niko right now sitaki hata simu cuz i don't want to talk to anybody where was your mom staying? Was she still stay, was she staying in Nairobi? Yeah, she was in Nairobi. She, she had Nairobi. to come. Yeah. She was always with me from the first hospital to the last hospital. She was always with always you. Always there. But now you need five people. Yeah. And I believe it it must have been a particular type of blood. Yeah. And you don't know where to get them. Yeah. How na simu? Sina simu. I just called my sister and kamambia we tafta wa rafiki wako wane ya raka raka. Sina damu. She, she works at around upper Nairobi CBD. Mm. She just went akatafta watu wane ya kakuja nao. Mm. The first time kupimwa, walitaka tu damu ya mtu mmoja. Na ote na rudi tena atafte wengine. Yani tulishinda hivyo but mostly nili, nini, lastly nilienda theater at around 3 to 4. PM? Yeah. From 8 a.m. Yeah. Now, walikuwa nataka adamu ya mtu moja mara ya kwanza? 
nilikuwa nataka 5 donors sikuwa na damu kwa mwili kabisa yes umesema walisema mara ya kwanza alafu wakageuza waka eh, unajua kuna venye unezaleta watu wanakutolewa damu hmm. if umekuwa ukitake any medicines hmm. they don't want your blood Aha. If kama we ni msichana if you are having your menstruation they won't mm. take your blood because your blood is already out. Mm -hmm. Maybe umekuja na unakuanga na pressure they won't want your blood they want a healthy person. Mm -hmm. So at first walipik mmoja. Now sasa my sister went to the second round akakuja na wengine. Sasa hapo luckily wakachukua wao watatu plus now the fourth donor wakaenda na nne. And I went to the theater sasa uko 3 to 4 was were the four people enough they were enough it was a good blood it was enough and now it's 4 pm 3 pm it's from yeah it's 3 to 4 juni liingia hapo 4 asa umeenda theater yeah nimeenda theater now kwa amputate your the leg wow must yeah. have been something first of all unajua you are unaambiwa you are going to amputate your leg first mimi niliacha infection ikiwa huku kumbe hiyo time yote tume waste imepanda imefika huku sasa and it, you now, since I don't have a joint, yeah, it may pita past the joint. So they have to amputate above the knee. And initially, it ought to have been below the knee. Yeah. So I went to the theater. It took like four hours to amputate the leg. Four For Kamaliza, yeah. And then, unadungango madawa, so you can't always just ski araka. Hmm. So I took like two days. So now I took for like, those two days, why you, did you manage to catch some sleep? I was sleeping because hmm. I was not feeling any pain. Hmm. You have a lot of medicines in your body. Hmm. Otherwise, you can take it. So now hmm. after the two days now, I'm waking up. I'm like, I want to see my remaining part now. Mina skenga tuni above the knee. How do I look? Lifungwa badinde jote kujiona venye naka. Na nasa ulifunga kivya ko? Nas, <laughs> did you ask for nas to help No, you? I wanted to check first. I love the muita badai afunge. Asa umeamuka mchana, mm, unafungwa kivya ko? Ilikuwa mchana, ya. Yeah. Nimeamuka niko like, sasa nimetoka amputation. Sasa sinijiangalie venye naka sasa. Sasa nilifungwa mku, nikaona, wow, this is me. Okay, sawa, sawa. I don't have a joint. It's okay. I'm sure, I'm sure it wasn't just, it's okay. There must have been something more you're telling yourself. There must have been At something first, that you are, of course. That, that shock. Unajua, you are like, yesterday I was walking. Right now I can't walk. Unajua, mm. you don't have a prosthetic. I didn't know even kuna prosthetic legs. So I'm like, I'll be using the crutches for the rest of my life. Alafu, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Mimi na kuanga hivi. If I'm already in a situation and I can say I can't control it, why use more energy or complain or cry, uh, or cry and it will just remain the same way? See, I'm just looking for ways because, yeah, nimi amputate wa mugu now how to cope. Una introduce you a physiotherapy who is going to lead you with exercises, how to work with crutches so that you can continue to cope with your normal life. Hmm. Sasa sindio hiyo. Mimi nikakuja nikaona venye the remaining particle now you must take time so that the remaining part can heal. I'm taking lot of water, I'm taking lots of fruit now so that bado damu yangu irudi because I still mm. don't have blood. Mm. Ah. Nikujisukuma tu. You're crying bado. Uko like why me god? Mimi mbona? Yaani jana nilikuwa natembea vizuri hadi nilikuwa nakimbia. Sasa siwezi. You're in hospital. I'm in hospital. No phone. No phone. So no one could call you and ask how you're doing. How I'm doing. Mm -mm. So ni kamwa like wacha ni tafute ka leka kama tumbo kasi muka leka dogo. At Kaleka least nini. I tell yeah, yeah I tell a little people when you tuliko na fanya now job wengine when you ulikume andika what happened. Sasa sindio ukaambia, una involve a few na wambia what's going on, my leg have been amputated, if you want to see me, come at Kenyatta Hospital, nini nini. Yeah, I involved some few friends. And they and came? They, and they came, yeah. And after they came, wakakuja wanasikia incidents, wako like, yeah, it's okay, it's mm. life, it happens. Mm, mm, mm. 
and we are going to be your friend no matter what. Was, was it, now I'm, I'm looking at, at you lying in that hospital bed. Mm -hmm. How long did it take for you to go through that whole journey of acceptance? From that time when you were lying in that hospital bed, when you were lying okay, it was when I was recovering the remaining part. It takes six weeks yeah. to recover. So yeah. within that journey, I was accepting myself. And I love myself, and I'm a strong person. I'm, I've told yes, you I'm a you first are. born. Yes, you I'm are. I'm a first born. Mm -hmm. If I give up right now, and I'm, I'm, I've told you I'm a sister to two sisters behind me, nitakuwa na maonesha nini. So, give up, to give up was not an option for me. Uh -huh. So, I had to take the situation that is as it has come, and deal w with whatever has come. So, to mm. take time, kidonda ikapona, kupona, mimi ndiyo nikuwa natafuta physiotherapy, na mwambia we mbono kuchuku nifanyisha exercise. Anakuja, ananifanyisha. Be within ata two months, imagine I was walking very well with crutches. With crutches? Yeah, nikuwa napanda stairs, vizuri unja bado mm. nikuhosi. Mm. Nilika hosi eight months. Wow. Yeah. To eight recover months. very well. Yeah, and bado rehabilitation na kuongeleshwa. Kuzi wanaunanga ni kama utachizi. Au Rosali. Eh wako like usijichuki usijiji daraho. Ah. Yeah. Sio jamaa pasta sio na kuona wanatembea yote. Eh wanakuambia usijali nini nini. Yaani there are a lot of hopes there. Mm. And by the way when you are in Kenyatta Hospital you can get a lot of inspiration cause mimi nikienda amputation I was being amputated my right limb. Mm. Mwenye alikuwa nyuma yangu, alikuwa na amputatiwa both legs and both hands. Wow. So, and I've also seen a lot. So I was like, nothing like this can make me give up easily. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And it's mindset and attitude. You geared your mind towards yeah. not giving up. Kabisa, and attitude, how you are going to respond to this situation. If you're not going to do exercises, if you're not going to push yourself, utajirumia, utaishi kwa bed. So me, I was saying to myself, sitake kukaa kwa bed. I don't want to be bedridden, because most of the people are bedridden. You said you will not stay Never. in bed. Never. 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 So, mimi nilijiskuma, nikatoka. Kutoka so now this is after, after, after eight months? Eight, after eight months now. After eight months. Yeah. Take a pause there. Nimewe you should take up that break now. <laughs> <laughs> Aso mtoko hospitali. Mm. Now life no inataka kuanza. A new kuanza. journey now starting. A new journey now. Consolata, thank you so much for, 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 wow. The mindset. Don't give up. Don't give, Don't up. give up. Attitude. The way you respond to things matters. Wow. I want us to take a short break and we'll be back in a bit. But keep engaging with us. The hashtag as always is Power Talk Show. Head over to our Facebook page and drop in your comments on that particular platform. Ensure that you let us know where you're watching us from. Okay? Like the page. And of course, we shall be back in a bit. This is Power Talk. Y254. Imagine. Welcome back. Of course, this is Power Talk. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Uh, today we are talking about uh, the story of one inspiring lady. My goodness. If you can just hear her. Udasema inyewe. Labda sisu wengine tujapitia. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about the mindset. This is the story of Consolata, her story right here on Power Talk. And of course, um, I, I can see, uh, you know, many of us are on our Twitter platform and Facebook uh, letting us know where they're watching us from. And of course, keep, keep doing that, you know, keep listening to this because this is her story right here. Thanks so much, Consolata. And to look at Nongea Kusu now, eight months. Eight months in hospital, trying to recover. People coming in to, 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 to you know, talk to you, and uh, they're keeping, well, now you're out. How was it now? Day one. Actually, it was, it was from the time when you were talking that hospital bed, and you understand, this is the day that I'm leaving. Let's start from there. First of all, you, 
umezoea kukaa hospitali mm. ulikuwa like ah yeah, i can do it i can do it now yeah yeah let's go let's go yeah, let's go because you've been <laughs> around that environment you're feeling like you can do it kumbe mambo bado okay cab came ikanibeba ikanipeleka home challenge ni kwa plot you know when you're using crutches mm. haufai kutembea mali kuna maji cause ni rahisi sana uanguke ah so sikuwa nime nimeweka that kwa mind but sasa ni ku deal nayo venye utatembea tu pole pole hadi mm. ufike kwa stairs upande stairs kwa stairs nilikuwa nimefunzwa na physiotherapy uko hospitali si now umesha learn kutu kwa stairs yeah so sasa hizi niende ni cope kwa nyumba you know kwa nyumba sasa ni kutumia crutches mm. you go to the kitchen you go to the washroom you go to the bedroom you know now i must adapt to that mm-hmm. it's another new challenge mm-hmm. mara ya kwanza kuanguka kutegwa you know you must go all through that alafu again life have to continue yeah. siati nimekuja kwa nyumba tena nikae kwa nyumba na sajazo ya kukaa idol unaweza wow. kufukua unafanya kazi unafanya kazi ya yeah, ujazo yati umekaa hivi idol uko tu kwa hao so i used to go out side kwa balcony bado unafanya tizi nini narudi natoka hapo nje kwa hao narudi you know to keep myself busy cuz mm. sitaki kukaa idol mm-hmm. so sasa umefika process your wound is very fine you need a prosthetic leg na sasa ni ku search una search ukiangalia how to get a prosthetic leg the best legs what and what mm. unaangalia price za leg uko like I can never walk again I'll never sasa sasa hii hata kama we are talking about prosthetics um you never knew initially that actually prosthetic le- le- legs are there I, you used to see them si unaona kama movie hata kama mtu amekatwa mkono ama mguu kuna artificial eh. hands walikuwa wanapewa yes you just know it's an artificial hand you have never seen it you don't know how it works you don't know if you're going to get a good one cuz me I don't have a joint i need a good joint i'm a content creator i do skits ndafanyaje skits without a good leg so me kwa mind lead jazia i'll not walk again but let me tell you guys mm. when you love and accept yourself just the way you are miracles happen from nowhere wow nimeenda clinic nikapatana na lecturer mmoja akaniambia hey umekuja kufanya nini kaambia ya yeah, nimekuja check up check up but i'm looking for a prosthetic leg na nimeona price and for real i'm not capable akaniambia you just give me my num- give me your number book an appointment i go to bado door to door i can come to your house you tell me what you want or tell me your budget i can help you anyhow i want nikamwambia it's okay we will plan in terms of getting the money yeah getting the money and helping me to get a best leg cuz right now ukitoka to amputation you want a prosthetic you have a lot of ideas yeah, as in yeah, ev- yeah. everyone is coming they're telling you kuna hii kuna hii kuna hii kuna hii yani yeah, you're confused mm so mimi nikasema ju nilikuwa nimeelezewa a few na has the few hazikuwa zimenibamba vizuri cuz i know i need a good joint i need to hike i need to jump i need to do this and this na hii pesa pia si lazima ukuwa na something like a fundraiser or something you need to call all of them this leg is not that cheap let me tell you hmm. so tukabuka appointment na huyo daktari akakuja kwa hao akakuja akaniambia let me see the remaining part kuna a certain shape they look Mm. so that it can fit into a prosthetic leg so that you can be able to walk mm-hmm. so at first i can remember you you already have the shape you're just lacking a prosthetic leg kamambia mm-hmm. yeah i'm headed there ni venye tu nasikia prices na shtuka najiambia anyway i won't be capable mm. akaniambia let me tell you something a leg that i can advise you to take si ndio tukaangalia few legs akaniambia this one will be the best kamambia but i don't have that cash he offered to pay half of the amount and mm. me i pay half of the re- of the rest so i can reduce the cost out of the goodness of his heart yeah akasema he'll pay half of it and then i you pay half nikamwambia utakomensaidia sana kanembe you will get a good joint you will be sitting down you will be doing whatever you want you will be dancing you will be doing this and this of which i've been doing them look at you now look at wow. me now <laughs> So first of all umepewa hizo mm. unaambiwa sasa now you must go for measurements so that they can fit your prosthetic leg. 
So, so he found the leg. Yeah. He found the leg. Found the doctor. The doctor. Paid the half. Paid the half. Now the doctor was waiting for my half. Did you manage to get it? I did a fundraising. Oh my God, nearly hit a water. Woo, 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 kujeni, 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 kujeni. And they came. Kadi. Yeah, mm. they came. Because especially my church called Madre Teresa Catholic Church. Wow, those people are the best. Shout out to those guys, man. Mbarikio sana. Kabisa. They came through very well, by the which, way. Which year was this? It was 2021, last year. Last year? Yeah. Last year. Ladies and gentlemen, so we are not going to talk about things that happened, I don't know, many years back. Last year? Yeah. Wow. Now, so now, this guy gets to the leg, mm -hmm. and now, um, I, don't, I don't know if, I, if I'm taking it so fast, mm -hmm. now you have the leg. Cindy, do no. you pick it up from there? I don't have the leg yet. You yeah. must go and do some measurements so that they can measure exactly the remaining part so that it can fit with the other one. So mm -hmm. it must take like two weeks to three weeks before okay. they make the leg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I did a fundraising as they were making the leg because they already have the half of it. So after Nini paying the half of it now, see I did a fundraising. Mm -hmm. People came through to Kamaliza. When, when was this picture taken? Uh, it was a few weeks ago. This one's also a few weeks ago? Uh, last month. So last you had month. adapted? I've told you, if you love and accept yourself just the way you are, mm -hmm. everything will just flow naturally. Wow, yes. And already, my Indiangu nilkwansha yambia, consolata, we don't have a leg. Mm. We know we don't. You love yourself. Love yourself just the way you are. So now how did you um, go now f trying to get acquainted with this prosthetic? Now they have already done the measurements. Now it's the time of fitting. Another challenge. Another challenge again? Yeah. I I, I would assume after the measurement it will fit in automatically. Another challenge again. Wow, there are challenges each and every day. Each and every day. Now, I've been given the prosthetic leg. Mm. The remaining part has not accepted we are going to wear a plastic thing. The body has not accepted a foreign mm. thing. It's another challenge. The mind again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And you must control it. It doesn't control itself. You control it. You put it down. The way you're walking, you must be cautious. You must mm. control it. So at first, I was walking with crutches with the prosthetic leg. Mm -hmm. Another exercise, another exercise, another exercise, until I came to drop all of them. With the prosthetic, it took me six months. To learn how to use it? Yeah. But now you can dance with it. Yeah, very well. Bring, up, bring, bring it up, uh, that, that video, Timothy. Look at that. This was you trying to learn how to walk with it. Yeah, I've been even hiking, by the way, even dancing. Wow, wow. <laughs> this was a TikTok challenge or something? Yeah, it was a TikTok challenge. Wow. So now you started learning um, how to use it. How to walk with You're, it. How to walk with it. Yeah. So the first time, nili for one hour only. Nikaitoa kabsa. The next day, two hours, nimeitoa kabsa. Right now, a whole day. Did you hate it at some point? Ilikuwe na kukudhi? Ilikuwe na nipo, by the way. Alafu, inakupea insecurities mbaya. Uko mm. like, okay, can't go anywhere alone. I just need help from someone. No, nisaidia, nisaidia. But again, it's mindset. Mindset. All mindset. goes back to the mindset. Because right now, I can even travel a whole week without anyone. I'm just alone. And you can stay in the house, work. I do all my house chores. It's because fixing a bulb, of which I know to go wengi. <laughs> You're mm. too much second You're born. Too. <laughs> second born. Number the last one. <laughs> oh, funny is of it too. Yeah, but life continues. Mm. It's just your mindset. Ukijiambia huwezi, you can't. Hata nige kama hapa nikijihurumia, sayo nge kuna niurumia, but sija kupia yu vibe. 
I love your vibe. Thank I you. love that. Thank you. It, 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 it brings this, this belief in someone that all is possible. Yeah, it is. Even the word itself says I'm possible. <laughs> Let's look at family and friends and, 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 and uh, now that you are out uh, into the world and you, uh, and you have adapted. How was their reaction? How was uh, their feedback? I'm looking at how they treat you, how they respond to you. You know, those, those guys when you're not know, with those who share eyes. Yeah. So, you know, me and Nanda Diapo and Mombia, hey, my friend, he'll be an accident. Stop staring too much. I'm not going to story that I can explain here. I'm not going to explain Me, it doesn't scare me. Staring mm. at me, when do you go imagine? You are there alone. Me, I'm not there. Try to adjust like me and move forward. Mm. Mm. Okay, some families, okay, family a very good nini time for them because they have really supported me in a way that I never thought they could. They've always been there. Friends, some ran away. You lost friends? Yeah. Some ran away. Wako like, no. But you can't judge them. I've told mm -hmm. you. Ata mimi before ni party accident, ninge patana na someone like me or such a situation. Mm -hmm. Ninge judge differently because it's just just happened because I, I could pay a signal. It what were they saying to. as they're calling? Was there like some <coughs> some words exchanged or something? No, like so you know, sasi kwa na simu. Mm -hmm. yeah. So afterwards, ni me kam kama ni me chukua simu ni lisema nta chukua simu wakati na taka kuingia online na ni post because I was acting mm -hmm. a series called. Sweet Moyo, you were acting with Sami Kiyoko mm -hmm. and Akina Katun. So, some people were asking for me. So, ilibidi ni metengeneza video ni ingia online niseme, nilikuwa na accident because I've not been posting for a while. Mm -hmm. So, I had to come back. So, after coming back, sili unaona, watu tu wako hapo, they are not talking, wako tu. See, you just know they ran away. Yeah. Mm. Others, they were with me till now. They have stuck. Yeah, till now. And, and I'm sure even as you interact with people, that those who you actually uh, uh, grew stronger together. True. And that, also this mm. journey, mm. you lose friends, you gain more you gain good more. friends. And that's when you know who your you. true friends are. Yeah. You gain lots of good friends who understand you, support you. And they are always there for you than even the previous ones. You say... Like, it's like a skin shade. You just stay there. You are just here for a season. And mm. your chapter is over. How, how did you feel, you know, realizing, actually coming to distinguish between the true friends uh, and the fake ones? Okay, me ni kama nilikuwa na jua since 2019, mm. I was in this journey of self-love and self-healing. Mm -hmm. I was concentrating on that. When you're concentrating on that, you can see the people who are with you and the people who are not with you. So you won't force. Mm. You know, I'm in hospital. I don't expect, you don't expect me to call you and tell you I'm in the hospital. Yeah, you just yeah. see consolata you call online, I na post daily. Mm. You know, something like that. So you, you'll just, you're just filling the blank. They are not meant to be there. They were just there for a season. They wanted mm -hmm. something. Saizi mm -hmm. pata. And it's over. So, ni mengi online, ni mianza kupost, ndiyo sasa wanaanza kukuja inbox. Hey, babes! Yani, it's funny. Yeah, with the emojis, but you're like, mm-hmm, it's okay. You just open and assume. Do you blue tick? Very much. Nama na jifanya sijaona. Alafu the next, na post something, you see. Ni meona na nika post. What about the church? The church. The church have been there with me while he supported in Kapata my prosthetic leg. Mm. Yeah. So they have been supportive and very good. Mm. Mm. I want us to take a few comments on Facebook mm -hmm. and social media. Let's mm -hmm. hear what people are saying. And of course, th th tell us where you are watching us from. This is Isaac Nalianya. And I said, good morning. I'm watching from Butere. This is inspiring. Thank you so much, Isaac. All the best in daily duties. 
Mr. Ram, I would like to also to talk to my fellow youths, if it's okay with White Hope. No problem, my, my brother. C welcome to Power Talk. Uh, Rasa Bashir Uwere Obuziana Sama Atazama at 40 Jesus Busia. Thank you so much. Da Ngote, some are beautiful and full of hopes. At least I've learned something. Nani Mejua Nikona Achirumbaya. How you take things. <laughs> By the way, uh, having an, uh, the right attitude is very, very important. Very. Uh, and as I'm locked in from 1960, Vasha. Now that we're going to go attitude. <laughs> attitude. Do something about it. Actually, he should. There's something you, you. What can you say about someone who has just bad attitude and it's affecting them? Work on yourself. Work on yourself. It's just a routine. Hmm. You work on yourself. So you know how you react to things. Yeah. Now change them. If you use your old behaviors, you'll mm. never change. You have yeah. to use new behaviors in order to change. You had to learn new behaviors. Yeah. Everything from every step. I had to learn something new. It must have changed even your personality. It has changed me a lot. Even the old people who knew me. Huh. Right now, to Kipatana now, imagine they'll say they don't know me. Because it has changed me a lot. Welcome to Kelele, Kelele sana. Kelele, yes, Isha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Timothy. So, uh, do, 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 do we have more comments? Uh, to let Timothy bring, bring them up. We have uh, Nixon, Justin, and some are inspiring 100%. Thank you so much, Nixon. Let's move on to the next comment. Do we have, this is Pascal Quena. What dynamic, uh, this is on Twitter, at Pascal, and I saw my Makwara watching. And of course, thank you so much to everybody that is uh, sending in their tweets. Odong at Odongo, uh, at Kevin Odongo, 10, and I saw my Assembo Rarieda tuned in, Asante Sana, at Samuel Oyuga, and I saw my also uh, uh, watching, and I saw my, where, dear? Where? You know where? <laughs> you know where? Thank you so much, Samuel. All right. And of course, this is, uh, let's go back to, um, is this Facebook or Twitter? This, is tw this looks like Twitter. Thank you so much, uh, everybody. And of course, that is uh, the Twitter handle where we have asked, where we've to, you know, uh, we, we say good morning, welcome to the show. Uh, this is at uh, DJ Scott. And some are fire, fire. Metume emoji, moto, moto, hapo. Thank you so much. Keep talking to us. The hashtag is always part of show on Twitter. At Rama, Google tag me. The official station handle is at Y254 channel. Head over to our Facebook page. You'll find our post there. Drop in your comments on that particular platform. Like the page. Follow us. And of course, follow me too at Ram Aguko on every social media platform. Now, on that note, if you'd like to find her, where can they find you? So that you can also engage with her, all right? On the part of the social media. Pale Instagram. You just search the word konsa. You'll mm -hmm. see me. Hakuna konsa mwingine. Hakuna mingine. Ni wewe tu. Ni mimi tu. Pia Facebook, the same. Yeah. Asante sana. Yeah. Konsa. Yeah. K konsa with a K. K. Yes. O N C A H. Yes. Yeah. Konsa. K O N C A H. Yeah. Remember, this is her story. How she has managed to do it. Now, Konsa, I want us to now talk about mm -hmm. a few more things. Um, but before we wrap, I don't know if there's some, uh, something you'd like to, maybe something we've not covered throughout this whole story. If you've not, then you, you feel free to do so as you ask, as you answer this or respond to this particular uh, query. I'm in, interested in finding out about how it was now that you had a business. How was it now after all these months of recovery between the time you had the accident and the time you had, uh, you, you got back on your feet? How long did it take? Did the business flop? What it happened? Did. It collapsed. It collapsed? Because mm -hmm. I was the head of everything there. Mm -hmm. I was controlling everything. So after I talk to even the hospital, when people are coming there, they are asking for me. When they don't find me, they are not buying anything. It was a hotel, by the way. It was a hotel business? It was a hotel. So mm. they are not... They just want me. Mm. Mm. So, mm. we had to close it and wait 
until the time that I'm good so that I can continue. Because the people you left in, ta in charge, it's all about passion. They are not into it. Mm. So you had to pause. And you don't be afraid to start from scratch. This mm. round, you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from experience. So, now, no, so how, I how? had to pause. Uh -huh. When I'm feeling all right, I'll go and restart the business. What is this that I'm seeing on the screen there? These are my contents. She's a content creator, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. What is this? So you are acting? Yeah, I was acting. I'm an actress. What is this all about? Oh, it's the drama that ladies do. You know, we are always dramatic. Oh. We are angry over small, small things. Oh, say no, 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 cooler. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you went into content creation. Did you stop doing the business now? Or getting a new business so you're fully on, on content I'm creation? I'm on another business hmm. and also on content creation. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And these are all found... Online. My, yeah. Pale mm -hmm. Instagram and about Pale Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, go check her out. These are just some of her content. She's an actress. So getting back on your feet, mm -hmm. you still manage to continue doing content creation. Yeah, I've done lots of videos since I was amputated. I've wow. done some videos, yeah. Wow. Now, let me, let, let me get from you, mm -hmm. um, because now we are, we are almost coming to a close of this particular discussion here. Mm -hmm. There are those people who lose hope, mm -hmm. and um, they look at where life has taken them, mm -hmm. and they feel like, or they, or they contemplate suicide. They think like, they feel like giving up, because it's all over, it's all over and done with. I'm looking at your situation. If it was, if it was not for, let me say, God and, and, and you having that right mindset and the, the support you, you, you had, you wouldn't be where you are today. But there's, there are those people who do not have anyone to look up to. And they, some are contemplating suicide, some are thinking of giving up. What would be your word to such a person? First of all, I'll tell you, jipende, jilav kwanza. Deal with accepting yourself first embracing yourself and then the rest will follow unambi wango love yourself as the way you love your neighbor yani yeah. everything starts with you you must come clear with your thoughts with your past your past doesn't define your your future by the way mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. happened now what are you going to do because it has happened find a way because there is always a way in everything just come, you must push yourself. No one will come to push you. It's up to you now. Push yourself and depend because when you love and accept yourself, miracles will happen from nowhere. You won't oh. know. Mm. They'll just happen from nowhere. And you never know where the luck is. See you could bed ridden who stoke kwa nyumba toka bacha wa kuangalie. What I do? What I do? What a kuangalia to lafu jioni uko peke yako, wako peke yao. So don't mind them. Let them mm. stay because you're teaching them something if they are learning. If they are not learning, leave them. Let them talk. Let them talk. Yeah. Life moves on. Mm, life moves on. As long as you love yourself, you're seeing you're smart. Mm. Ah, nothing else matters. I'm looking at, at, at uh, um, you being the firstborn of your family, your siblings. I've not touched on that yet. Um, uh, how are they doing now? I know, and uh, you know, the, the way you now cope with each other. As we bring this, this discussion to a close, of course. Your siblings. Wow. Do you know they don't help me in anything? They don't help? Ah. Wana kwacha? I do I do it on myself. Hata mina wafanye vitu zingine. Yani, we tulichukulia to natural. It's like it never happened, but it happened. Because I want to give you time <laughs> to have a final word now we, uh, as we close. What is your parting shot? Um, as we bring this whole discussion to a close. If you're out there mm -hmm. and you are in a situation like me, you don't know what to do, you can find me pala in both because a few people find me there. Kuna watu ni uangelesha by the way. I've also opened a group of those few amputees who talk to me mm -hmm. pala 
Facebook na bado Instagram and yeah. I don't know them. Because let me tell you, a lot of people are suffering. Even if they don't talk. So if you're in, in deep trouble or you want something or you want me to tell you something, you just find me pale inbox, borrow sinyambia nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Atupendu pusu. Atupendu pusu. <laughs> wow. 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 Um, I want us to bring this discussion to a close. And of, and of course, I want to, to, to say thank you so much to uh, uh, to you. Thank you so much for, you know, finding time to join me, Consolata. You are an inspiration to many. Thank and, you. And I, I wish you the best. Keep doing what you're doing. And mm -hmm. I know at the end of the day, um, there's somebody who's looking up to you. Many. And this person who is looking up to you is, say, is saying, you know what, if she can do it, I can do it. True. Yeah. And I'm sure you, 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 you've met such uh, responses, yeah. even online. If, if you can do it. They are blowing everywhere, by the way. Everywhere. Mm. And it gives you that motivation to... To continue. To continue. Yeah. To continue giving them hope. Because... Lots of people are not coming out from the house, by the way. They are bedridden. They don't want mm. to get out of the house. Because yeah. first of all, they are saying, what are, what are my neighbors going to say? What are my friends going to say? Ah, Chana, now. Kwa ni watasema adilini, shiwali. It's your life. Life goes on. Be hopeful. Mm. Be hopeful, man. And mm. love yourself. Love day yourself. Day in, day out. Work on yourself. Be Cons the better version of you. Consulata, thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? Yeah. And I wish you the best. Thank All right. You. I want to say uh, a, a big thanks to Consolata, and of course, thank you so much to even those who have been uh, with her through this whole journey since the previous year. Yeah. Today, Mubarak Yosana, I want us to bring this discussion to a close, and I want to end with a quote. Remember, right on Power Talk, we're all about inspiring you, keeping you motivated, you know, keeping you, uh, uh, to put to, to, to your best, to the best keep, uh, version of yourself, you know, uh, right here on Power Talk. And of course, I hope you've been inspired by the story of uh, Consolata. A quote of the day. Hope is one thing that can help us get through the darkest of times. With hope, you have all that you need. That is what brings us to the end of this show right here on Power Talk. A repeat of this show airs again tonight at 10 p.m. My name is Ram Maguko. A special thanks to Consolata for coming. And a very big thanks to everybody that ensured this show was a success. This is Power Talk. <laughs>